Okay, so now we're ready to complete uh, this animation. So I will put the brush here at the top. And this name is Daniel, but this one, the, I, we don't need it anymore. I will just trash it. I don't need it anymore. And also, uh, the best regard, yeah, we will keep it. And here, there's nothing there on layer 2. Let me just delete that. Okay, so on Windows, depending what window you have, maybe you will see animation. If you don't see animation, probably you have the CS, CS6 version. And here somewhere, you will see a timeline, and you will click on that. So for now, me, it's animation, so I click on it. And here you'll see at the bottom, uh, you know, the first frame is there. And usually, I keep that to 0 0.2 uh, second or 0 0.1 will be good also. You can, that's the speed of your frame, you know. So for my first frame, I will erase everything. I don't need nothing. Everything is blank. Only my brush, I will leave it there. And I will make it fit the screen. So now I, I see my brush. And... I will leave it yeah that's pretty okay maybe it's just a little too big I will just resize it just little little less than that yeah that would be correct okay so now that's the first frame now what I will do here I will create a new frame you know, animation frame and then I will move little my brush like this then I will create another frame I will move my brush little again and then I will go for my uh, fourth one let's say here you you make all your text animated then you will put your brush here since i will not uh, for the time sake of the to create this i will not put my brush here you know to start to paint you know so i will do my picture first so then i will come back here and where's my picture will be here sorry guys so i will just move back so it will be there so that will be my fourth frame and I will just uh, remove my picture then I will create a new frame then I will make appear everything of my picture so I will just erase everything here I will just uh, click on the eyeball and you'll see the magic will come there so now the, the this picture since there's nothing here and if I click that and I move my brush here it will give the illusion I just paint this part so then on my next picture on my next uh, creation of a frame then I will open my second one here on the top I will do my second one so then I will move my brush going to uh, to the other side and then I will create another one another frame which I will reveal my third part of my picture and then I will move my paint my my toothbrush tool brush on the other side then I will create a new frame and then I will move again I will reveal my fourth part of my picture going on the other side and then I will create another frame and then I will re reveal the fifth part so it gives the illusion you know everything's been uh, moving you know side by side and that that's why it's, it's very nice for the eyes you know because it looks like you're really painting, you know, but it, it, in a way it's just a, a illusion, you understand? So now I'm creating my 11 frame, then I will reveal another part, and we are almost, almost done there. So then I create the 12 frame, and then I will reveal my last part, just like that. So if I replay that, you'll see things are moving, you see, now it's maybe too fast. So now I can slow down this process by coming back to the layer one. These it's only for the the brush. So then from the fourth one up to the twelfth, I will shift everything together and then I will maybe put uh, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. So we that it will be testing on your behalf, you know. So let's say I put 0 0.3. That will slow down my animation. So then I come back and I will make it play. So you see now it's a li little slower. So if you like this effect, perfect for you. You know, keep it there. If you want it faster, just do it faster. So now we're going to create the, the text effect. So we're going to create a new layer. So number 13. Then I will. it will be the Daniel text. And then just 
close all the eyeballs for all the layers which you create before we're just going to keep the first one so it takes some little work to do this animation but i think it's worth it so just keep this one now we're going to move in maybe in three uh, in two ways so i move up to here i will create a new layer i forgot just to erase this one so let me come back okay i'm here so i just want to erase that uh, part there here nothing here so my my brush move here to here so this one will move also so i'm just going to go to the brush and maybe it will go up to here so make sure you you remove that layer there create a new layer and now we're going to reveal like we did for the photo so now you put you need to put your brush at the end of there so it's going to give the illusion it's just starting to to drawing your, your name create a new layer and reveal the second part of your letter so you see so then you go there create a new layer and just reveal the third part of your letters so this is how it's been done so now maybe the I you know the big bulb in your head just opens say oh now I understand how he's doing this you know you see so it takes some animation and time and patience you know so now I finish my first letter now I'm gonna create a new layer and then I will just see where it start you see it start from the bottom so put your brush here at the bottom but remove the, the revelation of your second letters so it's like just a movement there create a new letter uh, a new layers and then reveal your new layers and move your brush to to the top and then create a new layer it's very long but this is how it's been done guys so now I'm gonna push uh, put my brush here and then I'm gonna open a new layer I'm gonna reveal the third part up to here then I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna reveal the fourth part but this one since it's a uh, it start to an, uh, to the other side I will the uh, just remove my eyeball so I don't want to create the action now so I just leave it there create a new layer and then you put it there and move your brush to the end so it looks like you know you you know it's like a, a pressure point where you have to to make it like natural so then create a new layers and we will do the same again for the next letter so you see it's starting at the bottom but just make sure we don't see nothing no action yet create a new layers then put this one there remove to the top and then open the new layers go back here and then we're gonna start to so I hope you understand the process it takes some time and patience at the beginning it's not obvious even me the first time I was kind of lost but with patience and practice it will be so good at the end you're gonna be rewarded because this signature can go everywhere you wish for on your blogs on your capture page splash pages uh, anywhere you want and that is a cool cool stuff so now we're gonna try to finish this so you see it started here so make sure not to have any action yet open a new layer then put it back and put your brush going up to here so I'm gonna try to accelerate faster so I'm gonna put that here a new layer then I reveal more of my letters then another layer and move your brush in the same way the letter appear and then open the next one so it start from the top but just make sure nothing is revealed yet on the next layer you can do that reveal and usually here since there's a little I will just bring back I open a new layer and I will bring back my brush here before I reveal the next part then I create a new layer and then it looks like more natural you see so so then I go up to here create a new layer and I will finish my letter E up to here and open a new layer and reveal my letter up to here and then I will finish my E letter just like that 
and then for the last part the, the L so it start from the top and then I will just remove it open a new layer make it appear and put the brush in action and open a new layer reveal more of my letter L and open the last part and just move my brush like this and create a new layer and then you can put your brush here in the middle like that so you, we are almost done so if we click uh, you know go at the beginning of your time frame click play here and you'll see so you see the action of the letters so now you might think it's too slow it was too fast for the reveal of the picture but it's too slow now so what I will do I will pause this then you can accelerate for your name so it start from yeah it start from here so 14 the your framework start your letter go up to the end and what you can do just uh, replace your second maybe by 0 0.1 that will be super fast for the the letter size so this is you need to adjust yourself you see to reveal the picture slower but you see now my text is a lot faster et voila so you see so this is how you do your signature maybe at the end what you can do since it, it cut too fast what you can do just copy your first layer create you know just uh, replicate this first layer and drag it to the end drag it to the end of your animation so you see now we're almost at the end so you set 47 I will just put before I will remove my 47 before so now you see you see here it's like it's going one to the other so what I will do shift 46 and 7 together and here there's a tweaking you know so you will click on that the tweens animation frame and just put maybe three frame and what it will do it will it's going to create new frame but it's going to kind of make it very nice for the eyes you will see everything disappear except your brush will stay there so you see like that is better and here I will just uh, give him maybe a more duration of 0.5 it will take more time to come back now I think it's going to be perfect so let's do that again so you see Danielle is there it takes time guys you see it's look more natural and let's say you have the best regard also animated so you see the, the work you have to do just to to make this animation gif or gif so it takes some time guys it will take 20 to 30 minutes but at least it's done one time is good for everything you need for the future work and hopefully you appreciate this uh, tutorial not many te teaching you this kind of stuff but I'm a crazy guys so hopefully you appreciate and see you to my next video and have a nice day bye bye